Hi, you might or might not have installed one of our uh, Data Studio connectors. If you have, uh, chances are high that you're wondering how you can add additional accounts, uh, how you can add additional channels. So this video here is about that. And um, it's one of the most commonly asked questions we have from users. So I've connected one channel, how to add more. Now, there's two parts to this tutorial. Number one, uh, we're going to add accounts to an existing dashboard. I have here Facebook Ads Overview Report set up, which is one of the most used dashboards of us. And then uh, second one is adding channels. So now I have Facebook connected. How do I actually add other channels and how do I blend them? Uh, Data Studio has quite a nice functionality here and we've worked on that as well. So let's get started with uh, point one. Over here, I have uh, I've prepared a dashboard, uh, which is a standard setup. Now, uh, if I want to add an additional account, what I do is I go in here, check out the data source, click edit, and then I get this uh, link here. Let's click on it. And now I'm logged in to my uh, configuration portal. So I can add and remove accounts. And yeah, once done, head over to select destination, click finish, and now I'm redirected back into Google Data Studio. So the connector itself is updated. So once I head back here, I want to click reconnect and that's that now of course <clears throat> when you have different account IDs you want to sort your data by account ID now assuming that uh, you're an agency you might want to look at adding control here uh, drop down list and then add in the account ID or in the field list you can also add the account name and then you can start filtering by account ID. So that's like to get an overview of all, all the accounts which are connected. Another way, um, in case you haven't worked with this before, there is a report setting uh, over here. In the report setting, you can uh, create report filters. There are a couple of them for um, explanation purpose in there. Uh, and you can just add on yourself and then you basically do the same operation here you have account id you have account name and yeah you just filter by one of them save the filter and then it's applied to the to the dashboard and in this way if you connect multiple accounts but you only want to share for example one account id or two account ids with a specific client what you can do is set up the dashboard this way embed the filters share the dashboard with them but make sure that you only give them um, read writes because otherwise they might be able to modify the filter and just see all the data you have connected with the connector. Yeah, so that's um, Topic one here adding accounts now the second topic um, how do we blend data? Many users don't know that we actually have a functionality where you can blend data. This is basically Let's say I make an example today I have Google Analytics data I want to connect. I have Google Ads data I want to connect and I have Facebook Ads data I want to connect and I want to get an overview of like just the key metrics. Um, we have a connector. The connector, what it does, it takes data from Google Analytics, what you see here, call it in orange. It's going to load in the conversions from Google Analytics. Then it matches it with the clicks, impressions, costs from Google Ads and from Facebook just some example that's how the structure works and yeah you can search for that connector it's called add data and attribution what I'm going to show today is a template gallery here we have quite a few different templates so Today I'm interested in comparing Facebook ads versus Google ads performance. So I'm just going to head here. I dropped the link below to this so you can uh, set the same up if you want. Then I have the dashboard template here. Yeah. 
So now there are a few more uh, instructions here on how to do that. I'm just going to quickly go through it here. What I do is I use template and then here I create a new data source. And this is the data source which blends the data together. So in here I check for add data and attribution, which is this connector here. And then it's a similar similar thing like you have done for the first connector. You authorize it. And now in here, the difference, as you can see, is that we now have all the different data sources you might want to connect listed here. I said the, the example now is going to be about Google Analytics, Google Ads, and Facebook Ads. I've added uh, Facebook Ads already. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to add Google Analytics. What is I have to run access. And then I'm just going to select a view here. Now I have to select destination. Now what it does, it connects the data from the APIs, which we have authorized, so we should get our blended data stream. Yeah, and now we can see it. Yeah, Facebook, Google, and then we also got the, the organic data in because we have uh, Google Analytics connected now. So that's good. Preview works. Clicking finish. Now I click connect. And now I should have all the data connected. that to the report and now I can see the data streaming in this takes a while because in the back end it's doing uh, it's connecting to the three APIs we've connected and it streams out the data so now uh, what I see here is I have a table with the costs. The costs are coming from, if it's Google Ads, they're coming from the Google Ads API. Uh, the costs, uh, if it's Facebook, they're coming from the Facebook Ads API. And the conversions, they're coming from Google Analytics. So now my dashboard is ready to go. Now, another question uh, which we have is like, now that I have multiple dashboards, how is it to mix and match and get all the data into one? Uh, that is quite simple. So what you do is you simply add a page. And now, for example, you have this dashboard here, which you've already set up. Just select all elements, copy, and then just paste that over. Yeah. Then it asks you uh, if you want to blend the data or basically add both both data streams into the same report. It's just click yes, add to report, and now we get both data streams in. 
So now you could also start using in the overview report here, you could start using other metrics um, simply by selecting here. The data source and you see that you now have two data sources added. So that should make it easy for you to get all the metrics and dimensions you want of any connector. Yeah. If there is any question just drop a comment below or send us an email.